So finally we got the announcement for the new Galaxy S4, so here we can show it to you now. Yes, it uh, looks exactly like the S3. Well, actually technically it's slightly less heavy and also substantially thinner. It is a lot thinner, but also the screen is almost like a full 5 inches, uh, full 1080p, which is obviously fantastic. Uh, it comes in a couple of exciting jazzy colours called Black Mist and uh, White Frost, which um, is just really swanky ways of saying black and white and linking it to weather. So first up, we've got a removable battery. You've also got a 13 megapixel forward facing camera, two megapixel camera for when you're doing your selfies. It's gonna have two gigabytes of RAM. Are you the sort of person who always takes the photographs, kind of always shoots the video, stuff like that, and then you come back and you look through your photo album and you realize that you're like, you're never in it, really. You look like you're never there. Everyone else is having a great time in the photos and you're not there. Well, now, basically, what it's gonna start doing is when you take pictures or take video, it's actually gonna shoot from the camera in front and the camera from behind, so you'll actually have a picture of you at that same time, magical moment when you were taking a photo uh, or shooting a video, uh, as well as actually what you can see. It's also got this exciting new feature, which is photos and sound. So like you can take a picture and then you can record like a little message afterwards and then that's linked to your pictures. You can send it off, do what you like with it. I am I'm pretty sure video has got photos and sound kind of, you know, sewn up really. But. Who knows? One of the other cool features, you can actually shoot 100 pictures in four seconds and then kind of make them into some sort of crazy montage, which I guess is great if you're busting out some really good dance moves or perhaps if you're getting a little bit too jolly and or, or one of your friends is and has kind of gone out and started doing some kind of interpretative dance uh, and you just want to capture that moment to shame them with later. It's probably the number one function for that. So it's actually quite a funny new feature which is called Eraser. So uh, say you're taking a photograph and uh, someone comes into the background and you basically want to remove them. This particular function will take like a series of pictures and then work out what the background looked like and kind of magically erase the person behind. Which I think is a shame really because we're going to lose all of those hilarious Reddit photo bombing pictures which take up a lot of my spare time. So there's another actually pretty cool new feature which is called the S Translator. Everything's S something uh, in this whole thing obviously. Basically what it does is you type in Say you're in a foreign country and you need to ask someone a question, you type it in, it will speak it out in up to nine different languages. Uh, the person you're talking to will then speak back in their language and then it will type out the uh, answer for you, which is pretty useful. And it will also mean that you will never ever again have to mime crabs to a stranger because it's just embarrassing for everyone and they will think you're weird. Another new feature is Home Sync, which is basically this kind of like family cloud-based sharing. So you're gonna get to about, I think it's about one terabyte, which is quite a lot of data. You can have up to eight users. And what it will actually mean is when you're away or you're out and you're taking photos, and uh, then you can kind of link up to it and it will basically back up everything to your home storage. And then anyone at home, like say you're away traveling, your family can see all your wonderful traveling photos of what you're getting up to. It does mean that you're gonna have to be really careful what you take pictures of on your phone. And let's be honest, your phone camera's the one that you do your naughtier pictures on, let's be honest. So yeah, you just wanna be careful what you take photos of because you don't want your gran having some kind of heart attack while she was actually searching for EastEnders. The phone actually works while you're using gloves, which is pretty cool. You don't have to get those really dorky ones with the little funny finger thing on them, uh, which is great, especially for the cold mornings when you've got one of those mates who just relentlessly texts. There's a cool new feature which is called Group Play, which basically links up to eight people's phones together. You have a host phone, which will basically choose what music you're gonna to listen to, and then it will play that same music out over the eight phones. Um, it will actually balance it and kind of turn it into sort of a musical surround sound, so it'll balance the audio. There's a tiny new feature, which is called Smart Scroll, which basically means if you tilt your phone up or down, it's gonna scroll the page for you. But what's the most interesting thing about this is say you're watching a video on your phone and you're distracted by, I don't know, a kite a laughing child or something and you uh, look away, the video will stop playing and then when you look back, it will start the video again, which is pretty cool. It does mean that though, whoever you're watching a video with is aware of when you're looking at the screen and not. And one last little mini feature, which is uh, the air gesture, which means that you can actually control the phone without touching it, which is pretty cool. You know, for like when you have sticky fingers from the jam donuts, 
Well, as you can see, there's a whole host of new features there for the S4, and you know what? I haven't even begun to discuss all of them. There was a whole load more. Um, I think my gut reaction isn't one of being completely wowed by the presentation, but then, I don't know, anything short of a complete you know, technological innovation uh, always seems a little bit flat. But then saying that, it's got a whole host of features, as we've been saying, um, some really interesting stuff, which could actually really draw people in. Will it convert people over from Apple, though? That's the question. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait and see uh, what Apple brings out this year. What do you guys think? Is this enough to bring you over to the Samsung side, or are you still in the Apple camp? We want to hear your thoughts and comments. Don't forget to hit us up, and we'll see you very soon for more SBTV Games and Gadgets. <laughs>